thing. You, if you thought Kyle Richards' body was scary, if you thought Kyle Richards' body was alarming, check out Lisa Renna's body. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not body shaming. I'm really, really not. I promise you I'm not body shaming. But this is Lisa Renna's <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. This is her stomach and her crotch. <coughs> now, I'm not trying to be shady or rude, but if I had not known that this was Lisa Renna's body, I would have thought it was a man's body. I get it. She's wearing boxers, but there seems to be like a bulge. Like, I don't know if she like put it down there. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with her stomach and the, I, I don't know what's going on, but Lisa Renna thought this was a great idea. Now, this is according to page six. It says Lisa Renna flashes her bra and boxers at Lakers game. Put it in the chat box. Put it down below. How would you rate this outfit on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being eh, 10 being amazing, fashion, we love it. Let me know how you rate this outfit on a scale of 1 to 10. Lisa Renna is letting her body do the talking. The former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star stepped out on Tuesday night to watch the Los Angeles Lakers play the Oklahoma City Thunder in Los Angeles. But she appeared to have left her clothes at home. Side note, we did a video on this already. If you guys missed it, go back and watch. Where I was saying that Lisa Renna was trying to morph into her daughters, right? I did a side-by-side -side on how she was trying to morph into Delilah, wearing the same exact dress on the red carpet as she did. And then I also did a side-by-side -side of Lisa Renna looking just like her daughter, um, Amelia, when they were all in Paris and they were all doing the runway show, she had like, you know, the white eyebrows out and trying to model and all this stuff. This is giving like wannabe Paris Hilton, Kardashian, that like, you know, social media influencer, -y, like a Hailey Bieber, Gigi daughter vibe, right? I can see those girls, even like a Rihanna, to be honest, kind of rocking this look. You know, they would rock this sort of like menswear inspo woman, but they're like have these beautiful bodies. I and again, I'm not body shaming or age shaming. I'm just really confused as to what the hell I'm looking at right now. I don't know what the I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know if this is from years of maybe being malnourished. Again, I'm not saying she has a a, a problem or anything like that. I'm not making any allegations against her that she doesn't want to say herself. I'm going to be very clear on that, but I don't know what, I don't know what the hell is going on here. I don't know if that's from years of being malnourished. I don't know if it's from years of Ozempic shots or Ozempic like shots. I don't know if this is from liposuction aftermath. I have no idea, but I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. All right, but let's keep going. Dun, 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 dun. The reality stars, but here we go. Okay. Rena, 59, arrived at the Crypto.com arena wearing an all-peak Alexander Wayne look comprised of an oversized windbreaker atop a bralette and boxer shorts. She accessorized with a matching blush satin purse and heels by the designer. Side note. You know, the other person we just saw wearing head to toe Alexander Wang was her best friend for life, Erica Jane. Remember when we saw Erica Jane in Burbank and she was buying that big bottle of vodka? She was wearing head to toe Alexander Wang. It was like a gray um, sweatsuit outfit. So I guess Alexander Wang is like their designer. You know, they're trying to do that. I don't know. The reality star is not the only one um, taking her Alexander Wayne undies for a spin in public. Last year, Julia Fox memorably went grocery shopping in a bra and briefs from the collection. Again, Julia Fox is another um, connection to the Kardashians. Julia Fox dated Kanye West right when Kanye and Kim separated. 
Julia Fox, I don't, I'm not a Julia Fox person. I don't know how you guys feel about her. I personally had no idea who the hell she was. Um, I guess she's like a dominatrix model or something, and she does those weird Uber Eats commercials. I, Julia Fox, to me, I feel like she's pretending, and she just seems like this really broken person. But I don't really... I don't know. There's just something with Julia Fox that I'm just like, girl, can you just like go sit down and like get yourself together? Anyway, let's keep going. Rena sat courtside to witness LeBron James break Kareem Abdul-Jabbar scoring record, posting about the moment on her Instagram story saying, we saw it happen in history. Ugh, her and Kyle are both trying to be influencers now. Get out of here. Side note, who's paying for these tickets? Is this made for a witch money? Is this 80 for Brady money? Is this the end of your Beverly Hills money? Who's paying for these courtside Lakers tickets? Because this is the thing. I never saw Lisa Renna courtside when she was on the show for the last eight years. When was Lisa Renna on courtside of the Lakers? But now that you're fired, you're courtside. Who's paying for these tickets? Is it Barry's tickets? Is it Barry's tickets? If you guys have been following me with Erica Jane, you know what I'm talking about. Barry's tickets just countersued Erica Jane and the CFO for $650,000. So over half a million dollars on, quote, tickets. <laughs> are, these, are these Barry's tickets? Girl, bye. Anyway, she also shared snaps of the NBA star's Nike sneakers, which matched her all pink aesthetic for the night. Though she flashed her legs and abs outside of the arena, Rena has been strutting her stuff on the catwalk as of late, modeling in a tiny black bodysuit beneath an oversized leopard coat for the Rote Burger Christensen fashion show in Copenhagen earlier this month. I don't know who she paid for this. It says she was the breakout star. No, she wasn't. Da, 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 da. So yeah, you guys. Now that she's taken a break from Bravo, a.k.a. fired, Perhaps the Rena Beauty founder has a future in the modeling industry. Didn't I tell you she was trying to morph into her daughters? Didn't I tell you she was trying to morph into her daughters? And now look at this crap. I don't know what the hell. I, I, I don't know. what the, I, I, I honestly, I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> I really don't know what the hell. I don't know what I'm looking at. Did she put like a really small pair of socks in the boxers? Because I see a bit of a bulge. I see a bit of a bulge. And that's obviously I'm not shading any like sexuality or identity or trans, not obviously, absolutely not. So I, but I want to make that abundantly clear because I would never want to come across as disrespectful. Um, so I don't mean it in a derogatory way. I'm just key keying at, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at on the screen. But stick around my beautiful candy canes. Some take some of your candy canes question to comment and I will also drop the link. But, be but before I do that, you know what to do. Drop it down below. What do you, and also, what do you think of her face in this photo? It's giving demonic. It's giving possessed. It's giving evil. I feel, I feel Rena might become another Britney, another Jessica Simpson. Not that she was ever on their level when it comes to like money and fame, but the spiraling of it all, the nuttiness of it all. Like we watched her on, um, I think it was also on E! News with the interview she did with Justin. Ugh, I can't stand him. Anyway, but the interview she did with him where she was clearly, she was either wasted, high, or both. But she wasn't sober, in my personal opinion, my personal opinion. So I don't know what's going on with her, but I've never seen her courtside, and I don't know what the hell this hodgepodge body is. So put, your, put, so put it down below. Let me know what you guys think. And before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below. Join our newsletter. It is free. Check out our podcast books, movies, and courses, and more. So with that, you guys, I'm going to take some of your candy cane questions and comments, and I'm